very great morning uh, dear students uh, yesterday we have completed impulse current generator in the class and i have told you about the theory and tesla coil also we have covered so i thought uh, virtual lab experiment is there on impulse current generator so it's better that if i will uh, demonstrate you online uh, you can see at once and then in the practical uh, timing we can perform uh, in the lab uh, individually you can perform so first i am demonstrating you this experiment as usual you note down the steps so you will be able to perform uh, in the lab okay from tomorrow so as usual go to vlab so just uh, note down the steps www uh, vlab dot com okay mhrd vlab we are using you know so in vlab you know where are the uh, labs located or college located so here broad areas of virtual labs are there today we will perform uh, on iit kharagpur because on iit kharagpur we can get uh, many good uh, high voltage experiments so that you first go in electrical engineering and then in elect don't do now because you will be doing in the lab i will be there uh, to support you also but you must know what to do and uh, how to do so i am demonstrating it okay so now go in virtual laboratory of uh, this high voltage lab okay in high voltage lab we have to see experiments we have performed already one experiment on sphere gap okay on this lab now here if you see the experiment list it is study of impulse voltage generator then parametric analysis of impulse voltage generator then study of impulse current generator parametric analysis of impulse current waveform and critical flashover of a sphere gap this we have performed it okay now here our interest is as we have studied yesterday impulse current generator we have to see it virtually also what is the effect of every parameters in the circuit on the waveform how exactly waveform is generated so when we will generate impulse current um, waveform virtually it is called as simulation either you do simulation in matlab or you do simulation in virtual lab you can see that so that is called as a simulation if you could not see the waveform you cannot say it is the simulation okay so whoever one group has done that you please prepare another video on that and then do it so here go to the uh, this uh, current generator okay study of impulse current generator note down the steps and when you will go uh, in impulse current generator you can read introduction so yesterday already i have presented it so impulse current generators are generally used to generate 100 kilo ampere and what will be the objective of generating impulse current because many uh, test uh, objects will be there to study that current um, performance impulse current waveform whether that uh, test object will be stand or no during surge arresters lightning arrestor i explain you when lightning falls and go and discharge through the surge arrestor very large impulse current it has to withstand surge arresters so whether the insulation of the surge arresters yes whether the uh, impedance of the surge arresters will sustain so i told you that surge arrestor whether it will withstand such a high impulse current or no <coughs> you have to apply that and so huge impulse current you will generate only for testing purpose okay so objective is also uh, given you can go experimental impulse current test but our objective is to study the effect of uh, parameters on the impulse wave and to see how impulse wave is generated so you have to go as usual on the simulator and then uh, you can just see this is the simulator you click on the simulator and when you will click it here means uh, on the simulator simulator will come okay now if you can zoom that you can see the parameters i have show i have told you that all these capacitors are charged in parallel and they are discharged in the parallel unlike the impulse voltage generator in impulse voltage generator capacitors are charged parallel and they are discharged in series so you can zoom in and zoom out okay and then you can see uh, how they are arranged so i told you yesterday the capacitors are arranged on the horseshoe shape to reduce the mutual inductance okay 
so this is the shape you can just see you can just see and look how the parameters are there so these are resistors these are capacitors and then this here you can just fear gap has to be there triggering gap so you just see where it is there see you can see it here okay so this spark gap when it will be triggered you can just make it large so you can just see it very well because when it will be operated this spark we have to trigger it and when we will uh, just uh, this trigger it and then you can see the impulse uh, wave now how you will start the experiment here start experiment is there but there are the parameters so what is impulse current generator so yesterday I have told you the impulse current generator. So you can just see the theory circuit. So this circuit I have explained you yesterday. It is having series resistance inductor and this is the spark gap and one more resistance and inductor. And this will be the charging capacitor. So DC voltage will be there uh, which will charge this capacitor and this capacitor will be charging and once that will be charged to full potential then when you will trigger that spark gap then charge on the capacitor will discharge through this okay and then impulse current wave is generated so you will see that how much charging will be required how much discharging time is there rc constant you know that depends upon the rc A charging time discharging time and what will be the peak value some voltage drop will take place across this inductor resistor and you will get the peak value different. This is called as uh, wave shape uh, <coughs> parameters. Wave shape, you can change it. Okay. So, this circuit I already explained you. Now, you have to go through uh, these uh, steps here. Now, component you can change. So, just keep any voltage uh, required for charging. And then your capacitors will be charged. You can adjust by moving slider. Okay. You can vary this parameter. Any component uh, you can vary. Now RF you can vary. And this R1 you can vary. LF you can vary. And L1 can vary. So adjust first step. Note down this is very careful instructions. Which you never write and just again ask me. And getting confused and doing something different. So, note down the instructions. First, adjust some values. All the values you adjust. Huh? All the values you adjust. Now, I have adjusted all the values. First step. Second step, you have to take first reading for your choice of the uh, parameters. I don't want any copy work. If copy work will be there, then you will not get the journal marks. You have to perform yourself. You have to attach your graph. You have to write down your own reading. So, this is the start experiment. Okay. So, you start the experiment. Procedure is given. You can go through the procedure. So, after starting, you have to ground this switch. So, when you will just click that grounding uh, switch, then it will be ready. Okay. This will be ready. Now, what we have to observe here? We have to observe here how that sphere gap spark outs and how it is charged and how waveform is generated. Then charge the capacitor. Now capacitor is started charging, charging. See, see, see. It depends upon the charging time. Now capacitor has charged. Okay. It has charged. Now I will trigger the generator. I explained the three methods of triggering in last to last lecture. How to trigger the generator. Three methods we have seen. Advantage, disadvantage. So now we have to trigger the generator. Triggering of generator means we have to create uh, the ionization here. Means this spark gap should ionize and then that capacitor charge capacitor will discharge. Okay. Now just see what happens. Be attentive. I have triggered the generator. See. The charge on the capacitor discharge and the wave is generated. Now, all parameters are coming here, whatever we adjusted, voltage, this charging capacitor and this. Now, how much current is generated? This is unit. Huh? Here, these are in unit quantities, 1 unit and 2 units, so 2.5. So, you can just read that peak value like this. So, peak value of current is 2.439. You have to write down that, okay? 
you write down all columns you make voltage charging capacitor this and then you can note down the charging time of the current and what the time will required from zero to peak what time is required you can just see here peak time peak time you cannot measure i think now you can save the graph you can save the graphs already i have said it you one sample to show you see so what graph will be saved whatever it has come so this graph will be saved on your pc okay and then you can send by mail to you or you can take on pen drive anyway uh, this graph should be yours it should not be copy work so now the important thing will be there this will be the first reading who will do all the same way okay so this will be your first reading now second reading we will observe the effect of charging capacitor if charging capacitor is increased what will happen if we are interested to observe the effect of charging capacitor all other parameters should remain constant so this value you keep at as a reference value for all your reading sets now you want to observe the effect of this charging capacitor this is actually cg so two readings at least you must take this is the first reading now second reading i will increase i will increase only this i will not change any another thing and i will observe the effect of this on the peak value okay it was 2.4 and now i have just changed it again i will just start the experiment and grounding switch and charging you observe you faster you just now see here where i will say charge capacitor charging is done it takes charging time now capacitors are charged when i will trigger generator means spark will occur here and immediately we will be generated see now see Ah, see, have you seen spark there in sphere gap? Now, will we change? It is reduced. See, now waveform current peak is reduced. So these are very important for oral discussion. What is the role of every component? Now, uh, this is second reading, but third reading again you can change it. Again you can increase and observe the effect on this. Earlier it was 0.54. Again start. See here, uh, charging. Now triggering generator. See here the spark. This gap is reduced. This is one method. It was 0.4 earlier, no? So instead of 0.4, it has come 0.064, means peak value is reducing. So now you observe the effect of this parameter by taking three readings. This was earlier first reading, second, third. Now again, keep this is to the original value. What was the original value? Earlier first reading will be reference for all reading. Again, you maintain the same value of the first reading. Now you observe the effect of RF. So that will be second table, observation table. Then this will be third observation table. This will be fourth observation table. And this will be fifth observation table. And you write down in conclusion. What is your conclusion? As CG is increased, then peak value of current reduces. As RF is increased, what happens? And then we'll discuss this effect. Okay, so this is about the uh, impulse current generator uh, virtual lab experiment. Now, if you are interested uh, to read, means you read the theory, you read the objective, you read the procedure. Procedure is given here. If you are not understanding what I am telling, how mouse you have to drag, how you have to zoom in component, zoom out, how you have to charge. So, this you read it. And there is also demonstration video by the students of uh, last to last year. That also I will show you. Uh, that link already I posted on the WhatsApp group. You can uh, go through their demonstration videos also. Now, what is the application of impulse current generator? We have seen for the testing of RS stores and various stores, lightning protection elements, 
then vehicles and then wind generators transmission lines to study this uh, effect uh, and research references are given and then quiz you will also do it so all you have to start quiz yourself and whatever will be the score you will take screenshot and that screenshot you have to attach in your journal and then you will give feedback and to give the feedback you have to log in to the virtual lab website and then you will give feedback with the college name okay and that feedback screenshot also you have to attach in your journal so this will be soft copy of journal no writing work except conclusion so if uh, any doubt is there you can ask me and uh, you can just perform now you just see here the video uh, I, I will tell you this uh, video, demonstration video is done by Omkar Sahan uh, of last to last year because when lockdown started in March uh, 2020, then immediately I started taking online. Last year I could not take a uh, subject uh, due to my leave. Uh, but uh, immediately I was the first from our university who started video making and using online lectures on 13th lockdown started and my first lecture was on 13th even if i was conducting um, one uh, faculty training program okay i could not uh, miss found i difficulty there was no difficulty how i can start and this online meeting how to take online lectures and then immediately I could start. So this, uh, I motivated like this, you made the video in assignment number one and you responded very well. I am happy that all you have done videos. Uh, now I am going to see uh, how you have made it. Uh, but uh, see, last to last year also, then I told students, now we have to perform no virtual lab experiment. Already they were there in syllabus and I used to take virtual lab experience since three, four years back, uh, even if online teaching was not there. So I told a student that you make a demonstrating video so that students will love to see your video rather than my video. Now today I am making this recording, but I wanted to that the students should uh, see and watch students work so that learning will be greater and uh, skill development will be also greater so what uh, umkar did uh, he tried it i had not demonstrated at that time like today i demonstrated you i told them that is your self-learning like you did this assignment of the self-learning independent study peer supported psis activity so he did uh, this uh, very nice video with mobile because uh, uh, so many students were having problem of laptop also at that time but what was the impact i will tell you see the views are 437 and at that time i told that you had to create a youtube channel instead of giving to me it is better that you can start your that way i motivated them but this time i told you to put on my channel so that all other students will be also benefited. So Omkar did this uh, demonstrating video what I demonstrated today and he was so motivated with that video creation because when you do creative work then your left brain trigger and when left brain not only it is the triggering here we are triggering generator and uh, I am telling you triggering um, brain. Uh, left brain trigger but chemical uh, also start secreting in our brain brain structure start changing chemistry of brain changes and that helps us lifelong so all these lectures i am taking how it happens scientifically um, only i have told you that whatever i tell you just do and observe the change uh, in you in your personality in your skills and uh, that way he was so motivated by creating this video that immediately he did that uh, on course era he had done a plc course and his uh, some project uh, work was on plc work and he started thinking why not to just uh, create these videos for the plc course and immediately he launched uh, three or four lectures course means very little to start because initially he had to create a video uh, with their instructions with their quality uh, what course era I expect and if they will uh, just pass you then you can uh, create and go step by step so he created very short course i think five six lectures on plc uh, for that project works hands on and uh, immediately he started earning in dollars 
and he was so happy he told me ma'am you are such a wonderful teacher and you have so many skills one day you can become world a popular leader why you are just doing only for our class and why not you are doing it on larger scale i said omkar i am not interested to generate money or this uh, but he said no ma'am you must do on a larger scale and just see you can do it very well you do it you start it and he motivated me and then i just uh, thought um, let us uh, expand i mean uh, extend my knowledge to the other teachers also and uh, in uh, june uh, just i made one lecture to the teachers training and it was so popular uh, and um, in national level event was there and the principal had told me that you coordinate that event and uh, that uh, event one week teachers training only pedagogy how to teach and this and i took one session in that but people like so much that my lecture so they started inviting me and calling me and uh, what omkar said that spark was generated in my mind also and today you will not believe i have trained 4000 engineering college teachers all over uh, india many states and mexico also in last month mexico also called me all teachers group and they were also so happy so this is how we have to learn uh, together there is no teacher students relationship uh, we have to learn together we are peer learners also because when uh, we teach then only learning is enhanced if you will see the learning curve uh, when you hear learning is the very least thing when you experience when you do learning enhances but when you teach then outcome learning of the outcome is very large and that is why i always tell my students do some work like a teacher so this will go up to end and you can watch this in omkar's video for your demonstrations and uh, i will give you the link of course era also let us see actually i was searching for his number yesterday uh, to invite and have dialogue with you and how much now course era status is there and he used to give me coupon only a coupon for my teachers and for my students uh, means with free or with discounted things and i added this video in national teachers training also and all the teachers love this work you know they were so happy that uh, students are doing this and uh, yeah, you have already seen the uh, youtube channel our youtube channel and on our youtube channel uh, number of uh, students work is only there so this is uh, another video simulation of lightning and switching impulse voltage generator by akshay hoover so he was also the students and immediately he jumped in that ma'am i will show you matlab simulation and he did uh, such a very nice uh, video and you have to go through this video also simulation of lightning and switching impulse current generator using matlab okay so that i will uh, demonstrate you in class or i will tell you to go through in the lab let us plan in the next uh, session because i have some another agenda for this lecture okay so if any doubt is there you can ask me such a wonderful creative work will make you so um, happy and uh, happy chemicals when it will be secreted in your brain and when you will be in such a mood then you will start attracting the same things same um, incidences in your life from the universe and day by day day by day you will grow you know day by day you will grow so creativity and uh, critical thinking is now highest topmost employment skills because you know world is changing and 50% uh, employment skills are changing so if you will see by 2025 50% employment skills will be changed so i am just forcing you to do some work like online technology skills how you use online how you present how you sit uh, in online how you communicate in online and um, interviews are going online so leadership skills creative thinking critical thinking uh, your personality type you have to tell your leadership type you have to tell so all these are important so start thinking and that is why i will not like copy work of the journal and i will not give marks for the copy work you must do two three experiments individually 
okay so that is what my expectation is there so watch these two videos if you could not perform and in next uh, miss from tomorrow we'll sit in our lab and we'll complete this exercise.